Hey guys, what's up from Roll, Minnesota, your state of skate? Hey, I'm Butch Lehman, and today we've got a special first edition of Blader Memes. So one of the benefits of being on so many rollerblading groups on Facebook is you get access to the best quality blading related memes. And I love memes, so I thought I'd share some of those that I've collected over the last couple weeks with you. Some of them hit a little close to home, but that's where the comedy comes in, right? So let's kick this off. Yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty accurate. 2020 has not been the greatest year. We'll just say that. Uh, if you guys don't get this reference, this is from Brink. And we've got Val on the left-hand side. You know what? I'll show you the clip. My 2020 plans, they got milkshaked. At least it's chocolate though, right? Poor Val though, look at that hair. A lot of time I'm sure went into styling that just right. I mean, Team X Blades keeps their standards pretty high. You know, I can't even be mad at this. This is one of the benefits of 2020 was the increase in rollerbladers out there. And it did seem like this seems pretty accurate. Everybody and their brother ran out, got online to skate shops, buying up all the skates. Ultimately, that's good for our industry, though. It's left me sort of a bad position. I mean, I've been waiting to buy new razors for what seems like months now. I'm getting kind of desperate. Razors, new SLs, make it happen. I need them. For those of you that don't know this, I'm a teacher, so 720, 721. Nah, I wouldn't be a teacher like this. If, if it's 1080, that's an acceptable answer in my book. Although, I would have given full credit to 900, because who doesn't like a good 900? Especially when like a guy like Frankie is doing it. I miss those 900s. Those Frankie Morales 900s were the real deal. Full credit, especially since the student is a cat. I want to teach cats. That'd be cool. You know, I don't really understand all the generational hate that older bladers give towards this aspiring generation. Yeah, the new skating is a little bit more tech oriented and focuses more on technical difficulty rather than on the massive drops and the big spins, but those things are still present. So in my opinion, some of the stuff that's being done right now is some of the best skating we've ever seen in rollerblading history. I respect the past, but I think we need to respect the present as well because the people that are ambassadors for the sport right now are really pushing the progression of the sport and doing some amazing things with rollerblading right now. Let's go to the next meme. It's like they know me. This is this is totally me. I'm up there and you know, it's every skate park. I think this is something every blader can relate to is being asked to do a flip. Do a flip. Now, in my defense, I well, is it my defense? To incriminate myself, I do flips pretty regularly at skate parks. In fact, I just recently dropped a video that was exclusively flips. And so if you have that reputation, you bring this on to yourself. Nevertheless, uh, it, it does get a little bit wearing when you're asked to do a flip constantly, especially when people don't understand how difficult some of the other non-flip tricks you're doing are. Some of the technical grind variations or switch up um, and people are like, cool. Now do a flip. Who hasn't been in this position before? You do all the effort, all of the work, making the trick perfect. And if you're like me, you go back and you do it hundreds of times, maybe not hundreds, but you do it a bunch of times to clean up the style, clean up the landing. And inevitably there's always that one perfect one that you just blow. You have the opportunity, it's presented itself, it sent you a written invitation and then there's the crack there's the pebble, there's the floppy foot thing happening that just ruins the clip and you gotta do it all over again. It's the worst, it really is. You guys know what I'm talking about. I know I'm not the only one that experiences this. Gotta watch out for those cracks. No one in their mind would look over to a skate spot like El Toro and be like, yeah, that's the spot I wanna go session. I wanna session that right now. I mean, unless you're Chris Haffey or maybe Eric Perkett, no one's going to go to that spot to session, especially now. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but they decommissioned El Toro. It's gone through a couple iterations trying to prevent people from skating there. And there have been some massive tricks to happen at that spot, but that is not the kind of spot people would turn to and be like, yo, so I don't know about this one. I'm calling this one out. This one is not accurate. Man, we're really going hard at teachers today, but 
What's an extreme sport? Doing your homework while the teacher is collecting it. Uh, if you happen to be one of the very few rollerbladers out there that is young enough that this could apply to you, let me just tell you that that's not an extreme sport. That's just stupidity. We as teachers are methodical and meticulous and looking over your work. And that's the last thing we want to see is something that's thrown together at the last second. See, extreme sports are only extreme sports because you have a chance of success. It's a series of calculated risks that you've trained for, that you've put in the work for, that you have the ability to successfully achieve through repetition. Doing your homework at the last second is not that. It's the antithesis of that. It's just praying to the blading gods, to the homework gods that you get lucky, and that's just not how it works. So don't do that. Even if you're an adult and you're watching this, don't approach your job like that, because that's a good way to get fired. Yeah. Now I feel personally attacked when there's only one other blader at the skate park and his only trick is a front flip. Did you guys see my video? It's like all flips and most of them are front flips. That's my trick. That's what I do. I am pretty consistent at them though and I really like doing them and the fact that people appreciate seeing them is validating, but you're right. There are so many other tricks that would better showcase the sport than just being the guy at the skate park that does a flip. The judges board around there. So let's see where he's going. If any of you are with me on that, if you're the type of person that does the flip at the skate park, you know, we got to band together, right? Front flip tribe for life. We've got this. Somebody's got to entertain the kids. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? This just makes me uncomfortable. I, I personally skate flat, so there's that. But yeah, those oisy frames are huge, and I don't know. I feel like this is offensive. I'd, I don't want to offend anybody with these memes. I didn't make this meme, I'm just reacting to it. Uh, I would say this is insensitive, though maybe there's some truth to it. We'll just leave it at that. No, just no, don't do this, no. Crocs are bad. I mean, the best part of this whole setup is the freestyle type M frame. That's the only good part of the setup, to be honest with you. Next meme. I, this, this pains me to look at this. Just, no. Hey, it's Drake. Man, I remember the Drake meme. I actually use this one in class a lot for students, and they just shake their head and groan, and they're like, this meme is so old. But yeah, I mean, again, more criticism to those that are stuck in the past, talking about how the good old days doing 540 alley-oop soul from 2009. Like, yeah, that's what I want more of, more hammers. But they're here already. They're all around us. We just need to look for them. Look at a guy like Billy O'Neill who just put out a brand new VOD. You've got people like Eugen Enan that are defying the laws of physics with his skating. It's all around us. Just look for it. This little maneuver is going to cost us 51 years. You definitely feel it in the knees. I don't know about any of you, but... I've been skating 20 years personally, and my knees have taken a beating. I'm fortunate that there's not a lot of permanent damage. I did tear my MCL back in like 2009, but after a year or so of rehab, it feels pretty good. And, you know, I'm back to doing what I love, and I'm very thankful for that. But every 20 plus stare that you gap successfully will take one year off your life. Would make me think twice about doing it. Fortunately, that's not a problem I have. I don't do gaps. I love this meme. Who doesn't respect the female rollerbladers because they deserve all of our respect. Not only are they bringing in a whole new aspect of rollerblading, they're tapping into a different demographic and making it appeal to the masses in a way that male skaters can't do by themselves. I think about like China Wearstall. She is so good. She's better than 99% of the guys out there, myself included. She's amazing. And, uh, you know, having those faces in the sport, those personalities and that diversity is something that I think our sport craves and something that's really important to us sustaining it. So you can give her flowers if you want, but get them skates, get these, get these ladies skating because they're doing amazing things for the sport. How's your knee? Is there anything duct tape can't fix? It fixes everything, even knees. I. I don't know why I found this so funny, but it's true. 
Then he's, uh, they make some noises. You know, I'm 32 now. I just turned 32 recently, and it's a whole different ball game. I mean, it doesn't feel any different from 31, but once you cross that threshold into your 30s, you definitely feel it, especially the next day. We just had a birthday party for my buddy Chase, and he just reached 30, and we were all joking with him, like, ah, oh, yeah, you're gonna feel it now, but, you know, when the snap, crackle, and pop starts happening, we warned you, man. We told you. So, I think this is supposed to be criticism, but this seems perfect to me. Is this even a meme? I can't think of a better way to spend your money. If I had a son, I don't have any kids, but I'd be proud of him. I'd be like, way to go, Billy. We're getting ice cream now. This kid is learning the value of a dollar. He's supporting the rollerblading economy. He's getting a product. He's embracing capitalism. He's, he's doing it all, man. For those of you that know me, you know that I'm a really big nerd in real life, and I love love absolutely love harry potter series i just finished listening to all the audiobooks for like the fourth time uh this last year and this is so true because shinning a rail is the most debilitating experience ever just fall on the ground nobody understands this except for skaters like how truly vulnerable the shin is especially after you've hit it a few times for some reason it's like rails are magnets to the shin it never misses I wear shin guards, I bought the G-forms, which if you don't have G-form shin guards, that's tip number two. Go and get some G-forms. Those things are the best. They're amazing. But even with those, the rail always seems to find the one spot on your shin that the shin guard isn't protecting, and then that's where it decides to make impact. It's like this asteroid coming in from space, and it's like, all right, I could hit water, or I could hit the shin, and it's always the shin, always. Always. Are you all right, dude? You hit your head hard. Contagious virus? Masks? Facebook? Toe rolls? Man, this meme has everything. You've got the detail skates, the Cyrus skates, the Walkman, the Yahoo, the Jinko jeans shirt, Napster, Senate. These doggos know what's going on. This is the 90s embodied perfectly here. Whoever made this meme put a lot of effort into this, and this one's amazing. Even the skate park in the background. Whatever happened to skate parks like that? I miss skating ramps. It's all plazas out here in Minnesota now, except for a couple rare exceptions. And, you know, it looks like ASA is getting ready to go on in the background, and these guys have their baggy pants. It was a good era. I'm not going to lie. That was a great time to be a rollerblader. But, you know, any time that you rollerblade with friends is still a great time to blade, even now in the modern age. So I can't, I can't fault people now but what a blast from the past this is a cool meme i like this one anyway guys thanks for watching this first edition of blader memes i don't know if this is a segment that people are going to be interested in it's just something that i thought would be kind of cool since i've been exposed to so many of these different memes and i've always been a sucker for memes i enjoy them uh anyway until next time remember to stay safe stay healthy and get out there and do some rollerblading i'm butch layman of roll minnesota and we'll see you next time Peace, everybody.